we are the Scottish Falsetto Stock, Puppet Theatre and so am I and so is he and now we present one of the finest science fiction films of all time, Alien. I shall be Sigourney Weaver, I'll just go and get my costume on, who am I going to be? You can be everybody else, oh good, I do like to be stretched, later, first let's do the film, get your costume on, yes, I am Sigourney Weaver, here I am on my mining ship, um, hello, I'm eight years old and trying to avoid the attentions of Stuart Hall. Why? I'm being a miner. Here we are in outer space doing investigation. Oh, look! I can see a planet. We must investigate. We must send down our finest John Hurt. No, don't do it. I shall do my John Hurt. Hello, I'm John Hurt. You probably recognise me from such things as I, Claudius, the naked civil servant, and the elephant man. Don't do your John Hurt. I am John Hurt. Just go down on the planet, you cheeky bugger. Just investigate and see... What you can find. What can you see on the planet, John Hurt? I see some eggs. I see some eggs. It's funny looking eggs. I shall have a closer look at these eggs. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. I've got aliens all over my face. Oh, I don't fancy that. Quick, we must get him onto this medical trolley. Actually, they don't just call it a medical trolley, do they not? No, it's a gurney. Yes? Oh, I see what you did there. Are you feeling any better, John Hurt? I'm actually feeling quite a lot better, yes. I think I shall have some breakfast. Oh, no. I think an alien is about to burst out of my tum-tum. <laughs> Do you know, if I hadn't known better, I could have sworn that was exactly the same special effect they used in 1979. Oh, no, there is an alien on the loose. We must chase it. Through the air vents. Air vents, yes. On this spaceship we have air vents big enough for a human to crawl along carrying a flamethrower. Is that strictly safe under health and safety regulations? It's 1979. We've not invented health and safety regulations. Off you go, crewman expendable. What? Never you mind. Off you go. What can you see, crewman expendable? I can see an alien. Oh, but it's a long way away. Yes, look, look how far away it, away it is over there. There's no way that that alien could... Hello. There's no way that that alien could possibly get me from over there. Oh, you bugger. Oh, no. All of my crew are being made dead. Science officer Ian Holm. Hello. I'm science officer Ian Holm. You probably recognise me from such shows as Holmes Under the Hammer. Don't do that. Well, science officer Ian Holm, could you get us rescued by the corporation? Well, I tried sending them a fax. A fax? It's 1979. Go with it. I sent them a fax. It said, Dear the corporation, could we get rescued? And what did they say? They said, No, you can't. You'd have thought someone like the corporation would have been able to spell the word can't. Wait a minute. Are you some evil robot or something? Let me try knocking your head off. Oh, no! I am the only human surviving on the ship. I shall have to escape. In our iPod Shuffle. Here I am, escaping on the iPod Shuffle. Oh no, look who's crept onto the iPod Shuffle with me. Hello. It's it's the alien. I shall have to blast him out the rear while playing some Judy Garland songs. You know, that's the campus thing in the entire film. And so, I, Sigourney Weaver, survived to have an exciting career in such films as Aliens and... Alien 3, and can you think of any other films with Sigourney Weaver in? Avatar. Avatar! Do you think I'm seriously going to entertain doing a film which is a cross between Braveheart and the Smurfs? Think again. Freedom! Now cut that out. <laughs>